Hello everyone, my name is Quinn McDaniel. I am currently a junior studying finance in the AIM program covering the sector of international consumer staples. Today, I will be offering the recommendation of TAL Education Group or Tomorrow Advancing Life, ticker TAL. Tomorrow Advancing Life or TAL Education Group operates as a Chinese holding company and through its subsidiaries engages in the provision of after-school tutoring programs for students enrolled in primary and secondary schooling. TAL operates through the following business segments, small class tutoring services, personalized premium services, and others accounting for 81% of fiscal year 20 revenue, and online education services accounting for 19% of fiscal year 20 revenue. Founded in 2003, Tomorrow Advancing Life is currently headquartered in Beijing, China. In the picture below, you will see tall Tomorrow Advancing Life has grown into a leading K-12 after-school tutoring services provider in China. The firm's education offerings cover core academic subjects including math, physics, chemistry, biology, history, geography, poli-sci, English, and Chinese. As of February 2020, TAL's education network consisted of 871 learning centers and 767 service centers located in roughly 70 cities throughout China and one city in the United States. From fiscal year 19 to fiscal year 20, average student enrollments of normal priced long-term course per quarter increased 55.2% from about 1.9 million to 3 million. In the competitive, rapidly evolving after-school tutoring service sector, TAL utilizes about 18 different registered domain names that are linked to its main webpage. These domain names are highly valued and unique online assets that contribute to TAL's competitive advantages. Recently, TAL received an investment of $3.3 billion through private placement with Silver Lake, a leader in technology investing and other investors. This investment was driven by Silver Lake's strong conviction in TAL's leadership position, leading ed tech platform, and growth prospects. Overall, with positive growth in a highly competitive industry, it is recommended that TAL be added to the International AIM Equity Fund with a price target of $88.86, representing an upside of 40.1%. Moving on to my drivers. My first driver highlights the fact that TAL has resumed the pace of its geographic coverage expansion that was temporarily halted due to COVID-19. With TAL's entry into 21 new cities in the first half of the fiscal year, 11 new cities were added in the third quarter, which reached a total of 102 cities. 
Quarter three brought the addition of 54 new learning centers, representing a total of 990 learning centers. As the company's offline business continues to recover, management has confidence in their ability to maintain revenue growth of around 30 to 50%. Secondly, Tall has created an AI language teaching system in order to provide schools and kindergarten centers in impoverished areas, easy access to high quality educational Mandarin learning resources and services. Since 2019, this project has covered over 250 teaching locations and 72 primary schools in 47 towns and villages in Sichuan. Utilizing AI speech recognition with big data, Tal aims to imp help improve the overall literacy rate and increase opportunities for inclusivity and social mobility in lower tier rural communities. Finally, for my third driver regarding Tal's research and development, the company has collected massive amounts of data and continues exploring different education settings, including in-person, online one-to-one, -one, online dual teacher, and more. In an effort to stepping up Tal's research and development, the company founded the AI Lab, the Brain Science Lab, the Silicon Valley R&D Center, the Big Data Center, and the Postdoctoral Workstation. Tal was ranked among the top 10 in Hirun Research Institute's AI Intellectual Property in China 2019, a list comparing over 500 Chinese AI companies. With a $1.2 billion, billion increase in capital expenditures in quarter two of fiscal year 20, Tal is on track to continue allocating funds to mobile network research and development. For my valuation, in order to reach an intrinsic value for Tal, a five-year DCF model was constructed. Using a terminal growth rate of 1.5% and a WAC of 6.33%, an intrinsic value of $98.26 was reached. A sensitivity analysis of plus minus 50 bips on the terminal growth rate and WAC resulted in a $117.53 to $244.88 target range. Secondly, a price to sales multiple valuation was calculated using a multiple of 8.35 weighted average, resulting in a price target of $78.73. Additionally, a price to earnings multiple valuation was conducted using a weighted average of 37.03, a multiplier, generating a price target of $70.79. By finally weighing the models 60, 20, 20, a price target of $88.86 was reached resulting in a 40.1% upside. Tal currently does not pay a dividend. With any large growth company comes with many risks, one being significant competition. In the rapidly evolving competitive market of private education in China, Tal faces comp competition in all types of services they offer and in all geographic markets they operate in. Tal fails to effectively compete student enrollment may decrease and market share may be lost. Secondly, expansion management could also be a risk. As Tal plans to continue the expansion of operations in different geographic markets in China, pressure increases to maintain teaching quality, standards, controls, and policies. Failure to do so could negatively impact their brand and program quality. Finally, the last risk are rent costs and leases. Tal owns roughly 7,500 square meters of building space in Beijing and about 2,000 square meters in other cities. Tal's inability to obtain or renew leases could adversely affect its business by leading to relocation or even closures. Moving on to Tal's management team. Bangxin Zhang has served as the director and chief executive officer of Tal since the very beginning of the company. In addition to obtaining his bachelor's degree in life sciences from Sichuan University in 2001, Bang Jing attended the Life Science School of Perkin University from 02 to 07 and received his EMBA degree from China Europe International Business School in 09. Accompanying Bang Jing is the chairman of the board of directors and president, Yang Feng Bai, who has been president since 2016 and chairman since 2020. And last but not least is Ya Chao Liu, the COO and Senior Vice President of Tal. If you have any further questions regarding my pitch, 
please join us via Teams at 1 p.m. this Friday or go to the D2L discussion board. I thank you all for your time and I'm looking forward to answering your questions to the best of my ability.